Here I'm going to talk a little bit about the security features of Excel. Particularly, I'm going to show you how to make it so that only a certain group of people can open the workbook and only a certain group can actually modify it. So what you're going to want to do first is go to the Tools menu up here, then select Options. If you don't see that immediately, click the two arrows pointing down and it should be at the very bottom. Now once on the Options window, locate the Security tab. It should be in the far right at the top. Now, first what I'm going to talk about is the file encryption settings for the workbook. You can choose how you want the workbook to be encrypted. To do that, click this button called Advanced. Now here, you can choose the type of encryption that you would like. Say Microsoft Strong. The one thing to note is make sure that Encrypt Document Properties is also checked. The next thing to look at is that the password to open. Here you can set a password to open the Excel document so that if you don't have this password you can't actually open up the document. So I'll put in a simple password. And now the next window or the next box is the password to modify the Excel document. So what you can do is set up a password for one group of people who can actually open the document but can't edit it and set up a password for a separate group of people who can edit the document as well as open it. So that means you can have two different groups of people, one who create the document and others who only view the document. Now this little thing here, read only recommended, if you check that, what it's going to do is it's not going to make the document read only it will make it so that when you open the document it's going to prompt you that you should open the document as read only and it will give you a choice open as read only or open regularly so you can do either one but you don't have to open it read only so it doesn't force read only on the people who open the workbook now the next thing to go to is the macro security button here what this allows you to do is to determine what your computer does when it opens up a workbook that contains a macro. Now most workbooks don't have macros but some do. So you have a high, medium, and low setting. The low setting will simply allow you to have <clears throat> to use all of the macros that are in a workbook without prompting you. Medium will ask you every time you open up a workbook that contains a macro it'll say allow macros or don't allow macros. The high security setting is going to only allow signed macros from, as it says, trusted sources. The trusted sources are on this tab here and for me I only have Adobe System Inc. but you could have either nothing here or a bunch of other software providers here. It depends on how many add-ins you have for Excel. So I'm going to click OK. And the last thing I want to mention <coughs> is the remove personal information from this file on save check button. So if you check that, it's going to obviously remove your personal information from the file. Now that personal information includes a number of things. When you, if you change a document or edit it or save it, it records your name and the computer and when it was saved a bunch of other things. So if you check this box, what it's going to do is it's going to remove for the file properties, the author, the manager, company, and who it was last saved by. As well it will remove names associated with comments or tracked changes. The names will simply change to author. It's going to take off the routing slip and it's going to remove the email message header generated with the email button in Excel. It will also take away the name under saved by and change that to author. So it's going to make it a little bit more difficult to figure out who the workbook came from. And if you're posting stuff to the internet, this may be a good idea. So that's what you can do in terms of protecting your workbook and making it so someone can't access it. I'll show you real quick what it's going to look like if you save all of these. So if I have all three of these, password to open, password to modify, and read-only recommended checked, this is what it will look like when I try and open my document. I have to first confirm both passwords, 
Now I will close this. I'm going to save my changes. And then I'm going to choose the file I just saved. And here I have to use a password to open the file. Then I have a choice. I can enter a password to be able to edit the file. I can click cancel or I can open it as a read only. Now I have a password so I will open it for editing and click OK. Now this popped up because I selected the read only recommended. If you have password to open and password to modify the Excel workbook, you really don't need to check read only recommended. But this is just to illustrate what happens. It says printing. Uh, it says the name of the file should be opened as read only unless you need to save changes to it. Open as read only. No. So it gives you the choice, but you don't have to open it as read only. And those are some of the security settings for Excel.